seeing when my parents first bought me a guitar. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I uh, I was asking for one from when I was like nine, but they didn't really take me serious, you know. And then I bugged them enough when I was like 13. So for my birthday, when I turned 14, they bought me a guitar. And by the time I was 16, I started playing uh, with my brother. And uh, by the time I was uh, 17, I started playing with this local Motown band. Mm. And you know, between I was 17 and, and 19, I toured around with them a little bit, which was fun because, you know, were they brothers now? Can I ask? Yeah, or? yeah. I was, you know, I was the only white skin dude in the band for sure. And I was so much younger too. I was, you know, everybody was like 40 and above. And it was a great experience because, you know, it, they're still in the generation where people play parts. You do your part, you don't, you know, that's it. Yep. You've got your part, you've got his part. We all hold the pocket. Don't get out of your groove, don't get out of your part. And very structured and um, very disciplined and I was just like it was a great learning experience and you know it, it had to help mold what I do to this day you know and I know it helped um, all, nobody could really sing high like I could sing mm -hmm. so um, I would always take the falsetto backup parts <sighs> you know so we're singing let's get it on you know I'm always uh, I'm like what's the what's the part of the backup so, <laughs> Nothing me, <laughs> so I always held that that falsetto part, and I'd always find the high part because that's where I could fit in, and always sing back up, and that's that's carried with me to this day, and I still sing a lot of falsetto stuff, mm. you know. Um, how how did that happen? That seems so random. How did you get in with those guys? I uh, I played in a jazz band. Oh yeah, yep. You did mention that in high school. And I won like out, outstanding soloists um, okay. in South Carolina in jazz band, and uh, I would go to the the um, jazz club back home. This place called the Jazz Corner. This is just one of the coolest little jazz clubs in the country. I think it's it just got rated like one of the top fifty or top hundred jazz clubs. What's it in called the again? World. Uh, the Jazz Corner. Okay. Just a real cool spot. And they used to have this open mic night, and. Um, great guy run, uh, ran it uh, named John and uh, I remember I was playing there one night and some guys heard me and uh, what's the dude's name? You gotta give him a shout out. I can't, yeah I can't remember uh, his name. Listen to the rap for a minute or two. I got a rhythm as a fella that has come from you. True. Like the view, but you don't mind it. See the truth, blue, one in your eyelids. So open up your eyes when you talk to me. Got to see you so they're hard to be. Top of me in my trap like that. Never been a girl to do that to Zach. Snap right back to reality. Think I love the boy second when you smile to me. Shout to me, you're making me wild to see. I keep on thinking these how to be. So finally, finally, I'll be making you my honey. It's fine, baby. Spend the time with me and I will treat you kind of like this is blue eye and this is blue eye.
he's the first guy that I played with. He was a brother too, and he he would do like functions and stuff, weddings and mm. this, that, and the other. And he played the jazz corner, and I did a couple of things with him. I actually got this picture to this day. I'm like wearing like this blue suit, you know, and uh, I got like this bow tie, playing at a wedding with him. Ah, that's what's up. And um, I forgot how I got linked up with Reggie. He was the guy who who led these guys. Mm. These guys was the name of the band that I played with. They're still playing right now. Like they nonstop playing. Reggie's the man. Um, you gonna so, have a reunion with them or what? What's I mean? Uh, probably not. Just because, like you know, like I, I played with my brother for so long, and we've been trying to have a reunion too. It's just can't have it. So busy, yeah. man. You know, when I go home, I try to go. I go sit in with my brother. I try to pretend like I'm not a national artist, mm. and I just go go to my brother's gigs because my brother's a great singer. And I just get on guitar and try to get in the background and nobody see me and play guitar just so I can play with my brother. Um, That's cool. And I seen Reggie last time I played with my brother because he plays at the jazz corner too, and he's up there, and I got to see him, and it was cool uh, talking to him because I haven't seen him in a while. I remember, uh, I still remember the day that I, I stopped playing with them and started my own thing. Mm. It was, uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to see where you go from this point to that point. It's a hard decision to make to be a musician. You know, and and decide to go in an independent direction. You know, like because it's much easier just taking the money, the money gigs. You know, and yeah. you're playing good wedding gigs, you're making good money. You know, five hundred dollars a night, you can and you can make easily. You can make a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars a week if you're a good musician in a good town, and that's good money. You know, so to do it on your own is just kind of a crazy thought. You gotta have a lot of heart, a lot of determination to make that happen, but you know, it was cool. I wanted to sing, so that was it. That's what that was my determining factor. I just wanted to sing. You know. The reason I picked up guitar in the first place was to back up singing. Mm -hmm. Like in my mind. So just playing guitar for me was like, you know, I gotta sing. You know? And that's originally why I think I started doing the loop machine thing because when I left the, this band that I started and went out to Colorado and toured for a little while, when I came back from that, I started being with my brother. My brother sang, and I sang, but my brother sang more. And um, I never thought the solo thing was going to take off, but I just started doing it so I could sing more. Mm. You know? Um, so I started doing it on the side so I could just sing more because I wanted to sing. And then that it just took off. And so many more people were coming out to that than the band show. And so it just kind of like fate happened, I guess.
Little mama don't 